to Christ and you desire to do the things of God with the energy that you have. Over and above the spirit, remember the spirit requires a body. Yeah? There are some men of God who have gone to be with the Lord and they were so anointed. But a time came that their body could not be able to carry them to go and preach. And they have to leave, they had to leave because you are only given one body for this lifetime. There is no spare body. Praise the name of the living God. And so if you can be able to give that body to God and tell God, use my body for your own glory. Let my body be the temple of the Holy Spirit. I'm going to honor you with my body. Remember, so many young people are doing all kinds and sorts of evil with their own body. But when you surrender your energetic ears to God, I can tell you for free, you are destined for great things. Praise the name of the living God. Because God is not a user, but God is a blesser. I declare you shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living, in the mighty name of Jesus. Number two. Why should you remember God in the days of your youth? Because these are your sensitive ears. These are your sensitive ears. Praise the name of the living God. How are your youthful ears sensitive? Because these are the ears that you make decisions and you do the things that will shape your future. Many people who neglect today in life, it is because of the things they did in their youth. They did some mistakes that cannot be collected. Yes, God will forgive you when you come to him at any age. But there are mistakes when you do them in life, you are going to live with them. Bana sana. Tuseme kama wewe ni kijana upate mtoto. Ukipata mtoto ata ukiyokoka. Huyo mtoto hata rudi kwa mchanga, atia adisapie. Ukiwa na wawili ya mawatatu, utakaa na wao na umeokoka. Bwana suwe sana, tutakuita single mother. There are many things that can contribute you to become a single mother, but there are many single mothers who became single mothers because of the way they handled their youth. Bwana suwe sana. So there are your sensitive ears. Praise the name of the living God. What you do with your youth is going to have a little effect into your future. And the enemy knows that these are your sensitive ears. And you'd like to do something in your life that will cause you to regret the rest of your life. If you can avoid mistakes in your youth, then your life will be full of joy because you'll be looking back and telling God, I thank you for this far that you have brought me. Praise the name of the living God. You are living in your sensitive ears. Take care what you do with your youth. And that is why I said I look at young people and I'm jealous of you because I'm, I've met many people who have a lot of regrets because of the things they did with their youth. So nikiona kijana, barumbaru, muschana. Wewe maisha yako haijaingiwa na mambo ambayo yanaweza kufanya ujute. Bibi nasema kwamba kumbuka muumba wako katika ujana wako. Kama unaweza kutembea na mungu vizuri katika ujana wako, utajizuiria na mambo mengi ambayo huleta uchungu katika maisha haya. Bwana sifuwe sana. Number three, why should you remember God in the days of your youth? They are your teachable ears. Teachable ears. Many people are able to lay a good foundation for their future by sharpening their skill, gaining knowledge that will help them in their future. Bwana sifuwe sana. Wakati when you are a youth, your mind is sharp and clear. 
Bwana asifiwe sana. Unajua mzee akija kwa ibada mara anakumbuka buzi hakuna mtu alimezipeleka nyumbani. Ha? Mzee bado ako kwa ibada anaona kasimu mtoto anasema school fees nimefukuzwa shule. Na saa hiyo uko kwa sio kwa ibada uko kwa shule. Sasa ukiwa mzee kusoma ha? na uko na watoto utawachia watoto nani? Unaitishwa school fees. Praise the name of the living God. So ni kumaanisha kwamba you are youthful ears are you are teachable ears. The Bible says the psalm said uh, in the book of Psalm 71 and uh, verse 17. Psalm 71 and verse 17 the Bible says uh, since my youth O God you have taught me and to this day I declare your marvelous deeds pray power to the next generation you are God why is the psalmist talking about uh, the things he was taught from his youth because they are the things that shape our lives because that that is when we are teachable and we can be able to receive some principles that can be able to shape our destiny praise the name of the living god that is why the bible says in proverbs chapter 1 verse 8 and verse 9 proverbs chapter 1 verse 8 and verse 9 reason my son to your father's instruction instruction and you should not forsake your mother's teaching so hii ni miaka ambayo ni ya kujifundisha. Hebu niona ni vijana wangapi wako hapa na huko shule? You are in school, in college, any level of education. Inua mkono wako vizuri? Inua vizuri? Yeah, you can see maybe around uh, almost 70%. Hata wale hawajainua mkono, waambie uende shule. Bwana asifiwe sana. Haleluya. Hii ni miaka mizuri yako ya kuendelea kusoma hata mahali ulifika endeleza masomo wengine tunajaribu kwenda shule wakati umezeeka na ma responsibility ni nyingi na mambo mengi na kusumbua usichoke na masomo wakati wewe ni kijana kuna wakati utatamani kusoma na hautaweza so hata wakati tunasema vijana hakuna kazi build on your skills Praise the name of the living God. Sharpen your skills. Endeleza masomo yako. Ukiangalia the potential Mungu ameweka ndani yako, you continue to capacity build yourself. Even if you are going to add a certificate ambayo you have been able to run something for a month or three months or six months, praise the name of the living God. As long as it is possible for you to do it. Do it. Praise the name of the living God because you are youthful ears are you are teachable ears you are not just teachable in your mind but also the position you are in life it helps you that you can be able to learn because the responsibility that can distract you are not there Bwana asifiwe sana so remember God in your youth by becoming a teachable person number four, the reason you are supposed to remember the creator in your youth is because the youthful ears are your dangerous ears you are living in your dangerous ears as a youth why because these are the ears that the enemy is seeking or seek men and women to take them to captivity Paul told Timothy in the book of Timothy chapter 2 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 22 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 22 the bible says uh, free the evil desires of youth and pursue righteousness faith is telling about them that at that age is when many are prone to the spirit of immorality fornication pornography masturbation so many things are happening to our young people even today they are your dangerous ears and so if you can be able to learn to god he can be able to secure your destiny psalms 25 and verse 7 the psalmist was remembering the sins he committed in his youth psalms 25 and verse 7 
Don't do things that will cause you to regret uh, even in your youth. The Bible says, uh, remember not the sins of my youth and my rebellious ways act and his rebellious ways. That means uh, many people commit a lot of sins during their youth and they walk in rebellion. They rebel against their parents. You cannot tell them anything. They don't want to submit to any authority. No one can be able to, uh, 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 to speak into their lives because they are liberious and they commit a lot of sins. These are your dangerous ears. May God secure your youth in the mighty name of Jesus. Mimi wakati nipo kuwa kijana, mahali ambapo nilikuja kuokoka, kuna vijana tulikuwa tunatembea na wao. Na I witnessed wengine wakifa kwa sababu ya njia tulipo zokuwa tumeanza kufuata. Wale waliendelea na ulevi, na bangi, na mambo ya imu, wengine walikufa na ukimwi, na mambo mengi. Wengine walikuwa na great potential. Lakini kwa sababu they did not know how to handle the dangerous years of youth. Praise the name of the living God. Maisha yao wakaenda kabulini mapema. Nataka ni kuambio kiwa kijana na uko katika nyumba ya buwana. Furai. Kwa sababu kule inje kuna uhalibifu mkubwa ambao adui ya najua ya kwamba meaka ya ujana diyo nitashika wengi ni waweke katika utumwa. Praise the name of the living God. So if you can remember the Lord in the days of your youth, God can be able to secure you and deliver you from the sins and the rebellious ways of young people. Bwana sifuwe sana. Hakuna mtu naonanga ati mzazi ya nasumbuliwa na mtoto sasa. Mtu wa kifikisha miaka 40, 50, hata hile ishi walikuwa na ya kulibel na wazazi, anaambiwa, sa hiyo ndiyo mtu wanza sasa kujirudia. Na anaona nilifanya hii, afudhari singefanya, hata nikuwa nafanyia wazazi wangu hivi, wali njaribu kuniambia hivi ni some, ni wachane na hao vijana, ni wachane na huyo mschana, ni wachane na hiyo bad company, lakini singeweza kusikia. So, hiyo window ya ujana, it is a dangerous window, ambapo so many destinies, are destroyed. May God secure your destiny. Praise the name of the living God. Katika nyumba ya buwana, you have an opportunity. Buwana zifuwe sana. Ukiongia na watu ambao meyaka yao imeenda, watakuambia kuna marafiki zangu ambao walikufa katika ujana ama maisha yao yali halibika katika ujana kwa sababi ya mambo yale walio ya fanya. Your youthful ears are your dangerous ears. Praise the name of the living God. Yes, you have the glory of your strength. But it also depends on how you are going to use your strength. Praise the name of the living God. If you can be able to use that strength to pray, to fast, to pray for many hours, to work hard, even if you are employed, you can go for evening classes and build your capacity. If you can use that strength that you have, the glory of your youth. If you use it in the right way, you can shape your future. You can shape your destiny. Praise the name of the living God. Number five. The reason the Bible says you remember the, the days of your youth because the days of your youth is when you establish your divine purpose. They are the days of establishing your divine purpose. When you are a young person, that is why you need to pray to God and tell God, Fill me with the knowledge of your will in all spiritual wisdom and understanding. Bwana sifuwe sana. Mimi niliwacha kazi. Mimi niingia full time. Nikiwa na meaka ishirini na tatu. Na nikuwa sababu, ata kama nikuwa nimepata kazi, nilierewa ya kwamba mungu wa meniita in full time ministry. Na nikaanza kupasu my purpose and my destiny. At the age of 23. Bwana sifuwe sana. Imagine kama ningeka mpaka wakati nitakuwa meaka pengine ningekuwa na meaka arubaine ni seme ni nasikia mungu wakiniita. Okay, ni sawa mungu badu wange nitumia. But there is a benefit 
wakati mtu ameelewa kusudi la Mungu mapema and you start aligning yourself so one of the benefits i have yeah praise the name of the living god is because uh, i started early and it is the will of god for people to start early god spoke to jeremiah and he told jeremiah before you are conceived in your mother's womb i knew you and i said you are about to be a prophet to the nation jeremiah said i'm only a youth david was anointed when he was a teenager joseph god started revealing to joseph in dreams when he was a teenager that your brothers your father your mother one day they'll bow before you the days of your youth, of your youth are the days that you are you tell god god fill me with the knowledge of your will he knows spiritual wisdom and understanding imagine if somebody can begin the journey to their destiny early david became a king when he was 30 years see tukiona mtu amebarikiwa ako na miaka 30 ah tunasema ngo hiyo ni kijana sana lakini kwa sababu Daudi alianza safari yake ya hatima alikuwa focused akiwa a teenager Joseph vile vile ha? he became a prime minister in Egypt hmm? when he was young bwana asifue sana haleluya watu wengi ambao walianza mapema kufuatilia hatima zao jina la bwana lipewe sifa Ha? huwa wanafika mapema jina bwana ipewe sifa wanaingia katika hati mazao mapema so mata historia ya our president utaona there was a time he was one of the youngest in peace alianza kufuata hati yake mungu alimsaidia kuanza kujialign mapema na kufuata hati yake kwa sababu kianza mapema inakupatia time hata ya kufika mipaka yako ya kiungu kuna watu hawezi kufika mahali Mungu alikusudia kwa sababu wanaanza safari kama wamecherewa they begin too late into the day but when you begin early these are the years you are supposed to be asking god help me lord to align myself with my purpose in life the days of your youth the bible says that in all spiritual wisdom and understanding don't say you are young like jeremiah 15 years you are not young praise the name of the living god god can give you a revelation of your future when you are 15 years i was i think uh, people like myos munro huh? they received their calling when he was 14 years bona sifue sana because your purpose is not about age because remember god is telling jeremiah i set you apart from your mother's womb so from the time you are conceived god knew what you are supposed to accomplish in this life so if you are 20 or 15 or 30 and you have not discovered it's your problem but the day you are conceived god knew what you're going to come and accomplish in this life so the earlier the better and you align yourself and you surrender and you seek god in prayer in fasting you invest into your destiny praise the name of the living god thank god i was able to invest into my destiny when i was young i was able to pray for many days i was able to fast i was able to lead the word of god I was able to allow God to change my life, to deal with foundations in my life that would become a hindrance to my divine destiny. Praise the name of the living God. There are battles I fought when I was young. Yeah? And I thank God that today I can say I am where I am by the grace of God. But also I thank God that I began my journey early in life.